Okay, guys, uh, let's do step three here. Okay, we're going to bring in an uh, image. We're going to say thank you to Mr. Uh, Brian LeMay here. And one thing I, wanted, I did actually, I got out of perspective view. I was in perspective view before, right? Like this. I want to get into orthographic view right now because I want to bring an image in that uh, Mr. LeMay drew. And we've actually, in the future, I'll just show you my version of it. Uh, this again, this is just converting 2D to 3D, and it's on ones, right? Sorry, it's on twos, but we need to, you know, we're not, we've already done this in terms of classical animation in the class. We have it uploaded in our QuickTime movie, and I just want to work along the same work method that Brian had, and most uh, classical trained animators work the extremes, in betweens, uh, and then breakdowns, okay? So I'm just going to come in here, let's see what we can do. I'm going to go into view image plane import image okay and we have that awesome picture that he drew and uh, there it is this is where our timing chart going down timing chart going up right sweet there it is w move it up and check it out if i press r now i can actually scale this cool scale it up w and somewhere up here okay this is kind of cool so now i'll go into perspective view all right, I'm bringing it in the orthographic view, and in the perspective view, I'm just going to show, send it to the back, way back there. But you guys know, and I know, we're working the orthographic view for now, right? Cool. So let's go. Orthographic front view. So the timing chart down. Here's your extremes. Okay, this is the two golden poses. Okay, it's up here, and it's down here. And what I said to you guys earlier, when we do this, we're going to work in layers. So we're only going to work with the ball at its positions without squashing or stretching at this point okay so thank you that's there and why don't I just make a select it and is it selected we press W for a second no it's not selected now it's selected let's make a new layer for it okay and I'm just gonna call this background oops not BB background image okay so if I ever want to I can I can hide it lock it do whatever I want all right cool so here's the ball I mean, my let's put the film gate on. It's good to have the the grid on at this point. Okay, so it's really simple, folks. We're just going to move this up. Start with keyframe one. Okay, the first frame, and I'm going to highlight all these, and we're going to work our way down. Okay, so here it is. Let's see what number. Let's, let me just go up to. Let's pick a simple number, sixteen. So this will be uh, my first key. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll just select all these keys. I'm going to right click, key all. Okay, boom. So that means in a graph editor, all these guys are going to have something to do here. So W, that's frame one. Okay, so you guys know the next key is down here, right? And what I've done is actually wrote down uh, on the board for you guys uh, what the what the numbers were, right? But if you can think about this for a second. Now notice that this is one, right? If we're going to hold this for two keys, so this becomes one, two. The next key is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So eleven is my next key. So I'm just going to slide across eleven, and all I'm going to do now, watch this. Okay, my friends, thank you for keying. So watch the W, and I'm just going to bring it. Actually, here, press zero. That's where it is. Okay. So what I'll do right now is I'll key everything here. Right click and key selected okay and the good thing is in reality this is all being recorded because the auto keys on but just let's just keep in mind what we're doing okay so the breakdown right here in the middle of the two right so if it's 16 and 0 half of that is 8 right cool but what frame is that okay here it says 4 in reality that's uh, 7 and 8 right so I'm just gonna come to 7 and I'm gonna look at the number here for the ball W and look uh, Oh, this is frame seven. My yep, yeah, seven. So what I want this to be at is eight, half the space. Is that making sense here? Eight sixteen. Okay, let me just see here for a second. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, boom, boom. Okay, mathematically that makes sense. Okay, so we have this key now. Okay, so and we went to frame three frame three is five and six right so i'm going to come to five and six and what's the point between eight and sixteen hmm. possibly twelve not sure let's see if our math is working okay okay so right now you're going to be up there for uh, five and six and then three and four is the one between that okay so between uh, twelve and sixteen i would say it's about fourteen so type in fourteen 
Okay, it's like the grid's kind of weird here because I'm, I'm not following things properly. But let's look at these keys, okay? So all you got to do is press comma and period, okay? Comma is like, wow, okay, second key, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we didn't do our, uh, our cushion, okay, our favor yet. So our favor in his drawings, look at that, it hits, right? It's right here. So I'm going to come to nine. I'm going to drop this to zero, zero people, boom. So notice like... These are on ones, right? Well, these are good for two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's coming down again. There is no squash right now. Okay, guys, let's just go to the next one. Um, it's thirteen, fourteen, and from the squash it goes to perfect. So I'm just going to come over here at thirteen, fourteen. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click, key selected. One of the things I didn't do earlier is I came in here. Let's just make sure everything is keyed, uh, key selected. And later on, I'm going to show you guys how to make these little buttons up here where we can speed up everything, okay? All in stages, my friends. We can't, we can't, I can't throw everything at you at once, okay? We're in high school. Let's take it in stages. So, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is the squash. This is the one here. Now, 7, 8 is the, is the breakdown halfway here, right? So that's frame, um, that's, that's 8. 8 is 15, 16, which is here. And we know the half point up there, folks, is somewhere like 12. So let's just pop it to 12, okay? Big fly up. So there's 12. Okay, we just did this one, and the half point there, the midpoint, sorry, is 10 here, uh, this frame here, okay? And that would be 17, 18. So I'm coming to 17, 18, and I'm going to add it to, say, 14, 1, 4. Okay, so that's good. So from here, pop, and then we have 17, 18, and then we have 19, 20, goes up another two. And maybe a one, just come in here and hit it. A 15, and then 21. Hmm, I think I need to go back down a bit here. Okay, let's see here. Just one, I wish I wrote them out, and uh, next time I should just write my number so it's a little confusing because we're working in ones. I could have I could have rescaled the whole all my keys in the dope sheet. Again, that's way too many new things for you guys. Okay, so let's just work through this simply here. Okay, one. It's at sixteen. Okay, that's the top of my uh, ball bounce. Next stage I'm gonna come down at the bottom. There it is. My breakdown is here. Should be about eight. Okay, this is the the ball in this frame here okay and there's my squash up oh, 11 12 13 14 breakdown so that would be about 12 and let's just change this one to instead of 14 let's make it 13 okay 13 and then this one will be 14 and then it'll cycle itself 14 okay that's cool uh, and this one's about 15 Let's see how this looks. All right, so I'm going to loop this, and I want to change it to 22 so I can actually see it looping. So let's see how this is going to work. Bam, 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 bam. Not bad. Okay, that's our first stage. How about we say that's good enough? Uh, I want to save scene as. So this was blocking. Okay, I'm just going to say that's all right. I like this. Um. Next thing, let's just add the squash, okay, just for fun. So again, Command Shift S, and I'll go to number four, and I'll call this one squash. Okay. All right, there it is. Squash is in. So let's do that. We know the squash is at eleven, twelve, way down here. Okay. So here's the cool thing. We know that now R is 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 the scale tool, right? Okay, we just start doing things like this and out. You are not going to have any. The volume is the key here. Okay, to, the way to get to this. Sorry, back to eleven. Let's. We're going to work in the scale mode. Notice how the volume itself in X, Y, and Z is what. Okay, so if I come in here and just say one point four. Okay, oops. Uh, we want a squash belly, not not stretch. So let's see here. Um, 1.4. I'm going to add 1.4 here. 
1.4 and then 0.6 on this one. Okay, and W, we want this at this point to be right about the ground. Okay, right there, because you know, there. All right, so what, what one thing I tried to do is trying to keep the ones and the volume unison, okay? So there's that, there's the squash key. Now, we just go option, look at that. Because we're in step mode, this is holding its position really well, okay? So I'm holding option and I'm keying through. If I just went with uh, comma and period, you're going every key frame as opposed to every frame of the option. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we do have the squash in. So again, I'm just going to go file, save, scene as. And this time I'm going to go to number five. And I'm going to give the stretch. We're going to work on the stretch, okay? So stretch. Let's go in here and continue. So we know the stretch is at 13. Let's see, what does he do? It. He's at, he's at frame eight, which is 15, 16, right? So here. So if I come in here hit the Y, let's say 1.4, look at that, and then 0.6 on these guys, okay, let's try and just do 0.6 there too, hey, wow, that's a little extreme, isn't it, hmm, let's change it to 0.7 maybe, and 1.3 here, tab, 0.7, uh, subtleties, it's all subtle, right, the next one up, we'll just make it even less, more a gradual, right? So if it was one point, let's go to 1.15 here. Let's see how that's going to work. Okay, and this is 0 0.85, 85, and one more, 0.85. All right, so that's cool. There it is. 17 to 18 holds position. And now, watch what's happening here. Okay, it's taking this number and it's carrying it over. And here, we just want to keep these to one. Boom. The next one, we want it to be one. And it is. Okay, so if we just cycle through this, just play it. Boom. Hop. Not bad, right? So what I'll do right now, and I'm just going to press W to get out. And uh, what I'll do is, uh, let's go to view. Sorry, shading. Yeah, that's cool. Let's just do a quick play boss, okay? Play boss, little button here, option. Thank you. Okay, I like to keep everything at 100%. Quick time, H264. It's my codec size. And then let's just go uh, save here. And where is it going? It should be going in movies. Cool. So let's call this uh, Perpetual Bow Bounce Play Bass 01 Squash and ST Stretch. So it has it. Let's apply. Yeah. Goes up and down. Okay, so what's interesting about this right now, if I press Command L for looping, it's not bad, but it's all in step mode, right? We got the keys in good place. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. I'm happy with this. Um, not to freak you guys out, this is the next level that we're going to get into. Let's go window animation, editors, graph editor. Okay, I'm going to set up your graph editor for you guys and see this is the world we live, are going to start to live in. So notice that this is coming down and then going up, right? That's the reality of this ball bounce. Really awesome. Okay guys, and one thing I could do right now, I can select my friend here and hide it. And then let's see my camera. I can, let me see. Show none, show only polygons. Okay, click out and now run a play blast, right? Let's call this number two. Okay, play bass, same thing, with no background. And I think we can end it here. Let's just play it quickly. Sweet. It's all going to 22. Yeah, excuse me for a second. Pardon them all. And here we go. Boom. Command L. Space bar. Happy. Really happy. Okay, so this is cool. We got our blocking down. I think I should stop it at this point. Say bye.